What's going on YouTube? Modeling Nut back at you here. And for today, we're doing a little bit of a different video. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I get rid of the yellowing with the clear um, that goes onto the decals. And so, um, obviously, highly suggest do this on a decal or a part of the decal sheet that you don't care about. So, like, for example, the copyright information or... Um, if there's a duplicate of a decal or something like that, just go ahead and um, test this out on there. Make sure that you're not going to have any other issues with disintegration, anything like that. Uh, if you do have problems with your decals disintegrating, obviously there's things uh, such as uh, get this into a shot here, the Microscale Industries liquid decal film. This stuff is really great. Um, I've also seen people use just like clear uh, spray cans. Um, Lucas C has a really great video on reuse, reusing old decals. So, um, but this specifically is with the Revell or Monogram and old AMT decals, they're usually a little bit thicker. So they're a little bit more forgiving. So as we can see here, we've got the fresh from naturally fresh. And as you could tell, it was really pretty yellow. And as you could see by me just rubbing my finger, on the sheet, the yellow comes off, and we go back to that nice blue decal sheet. Well, all of that clear transfer on the decal ha now has that nasty yellow. So, what I do is I get a couple of uh, cotton buds or q tips or whatever you want to call them, use one to kind of hold it down, second one just carefully scrape off rub off all of the old adhesive that has yellowed. And again, this is why you need to make sure that you do this on a decal that you don't care if it gets ruined for the first few times or for the first time, just to make sure it's not going to disintegrate on you or shatter or break or anything like that. Um, also to note, this water is just, it's only uh, distilled water. I am not using any sort of solvents, anything like that. So now that I've got that all taken care of, circle you around here, and I'll get my car brought into shot here, and we'll go ahead and focus here on the tail. And then what I usually do first, use the Micromark setter. So this is going to go right behind the rear wheel. I usually put a decent amount of this adhesive on just to kind of bind the decal down. Again, get it nice and wet back there. Put the cap back on so we don't spill it. And then I grab our decal. Very carefully with a pair of tweezers. And lay that on. Now most people I know would just let this sit or something to that effect and naturally air dry. Um, the way I usually do my decals though might be a little bit different than what you've seen. So I will take a q-tip just get it down a little bit here hopefully you guys can see this make sure it goes into focus and then i just carefully will roll out all of the extra moisture using the q-tip to wick it away again looking at my reference car here the fresh does kind of go at that little bit of an angle it's more parallel to the ground than it is the actual side. Again, you can wet your finger or you get it wet to position it. So let me make sure I got this lined up. Sorry if it's out of shot for you guys. I gotta, I gotta make sure I get this in the right spot. And then again, just, and of course it decided to move on me. And roll that moisture out, pushing down a good bit to make sure that it adheres. Sliding off at the corner there to make sure that corner is laying as flat as it can be. And that pretty well does it. And again, you can see, looks pretty good. Now I'll go ahead, use my softener. Again, normally the way that you, I know that it probably should be used, but I use it a little different. So I just brush this on, 
Then I use it to kind of tease if I happen to notice the corner of a decal has kind of popped up or something. Give it a few moments just to kind of soften up that decal. Go ahead and pull the body off here. And then one final time, again, dry end. This other end's one that I'd used before. Just pushing down about an inch in, just letting the bend of the plastic apply the pressure. And roll out that moisture from behind that decal. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. You got one decent looking decal. Here's what it looked like with the roof. Just got that on a few moments ago. Zoom that in, focus that. So you can, as you can see, a little bit of yellowing hue very lightly in a few spots. Uh, again, tried to get it as much as I could, but it happens. And then the one that will really show it off will be this hood. Because again, it is a pure white hood. Again, that had that nasty yellow behind it all over that decal. So, again, what I found, this works great for the monogram decals, um, the old AMT Earl decals, and the Ravel kits. Um, those, again, seem to be a little bit thicker of decals, and so I'm able to do this. With those, obviously, again, if you're using any other, like, slicks, or power slide or gopher try it with one that you don't care of if you know, go sideways or something like that and that way you can make sure that you like the way that it comes out again you don't shatter the decal anything like that so hopefully this will help somebody out there and the next build update will be coming here shortly after I get all of the decals on this car and get it ready for clear so catch you guys later